Hey there, Teresa Kumrick here from Impact Mailing Club and just some tips for you if you are looking for some mailing tips. If you're in direct mail or involved in some sort of mail order business, um, mailing envelopes, mailing postcards for cash, um, here are some tips for you. So tip number one is choosing the right company. Seems really obvious but it's not many people just fall for the hype and don't actually look into the company that they're joining and the product they're joining. So very very, very important um, when you are joining to choose the right company and what I mean by that and I have an entire video on this but just quickly is it's a company where there's a person behind it where they have excellent support where they actually have a product and we have an amazing product at Impact Mailing Club we have home business leads targeted home business leads quality ones that anyone can buy I call it a standalone product because it's something that people would purchase whether or not there was a business opportunity attached to it so super important to look at the product to look at the support amazing support at impact mailing club that there's an owner behind it and finally just something very important as well is um, to make sure that the company is growing that's there for the long run not just a get rich quick scheme not a company that's going to pick up all your money and leave um, and give you nothing in return you're looking for a company that's going to be there for a long run that's talking that's doing innovation that's um, you know adding products all the time new ideas that type of thing you so first tip super important pick the right company uh, second tip is to be consistent so I can't tell you how many times in any sort of home business I see people try maybe for a month and then quit um, or in this case it would be you know do one mailing and then quit um, there are needs to be consistency in this business not everyone is going to join the first time they see your name on a letter or your picture on something they want um, they want consistency and consistency is something you need to do be careful think about your budget don't always spend you know everything on all your leads do one mailing and that's it it might even be better if it's in your budget to maybe mail every week but mail a smaller amount mail 50 people and keep mailing those 50 people a few times until you mail your second set of leads very important to be consistent in this business it's the difference between the people who are having success and who aren't having success the people who are consistent are having success in direct mail and mail order and in all this type of thing um, third thing is to get personal I really think it's important to put your name to put your picture if you can on your letters um, Facebook if you can but you got to get personal uh, not everyone wants to just give money um, to a stranger they, they you know no matter how great the program sounds people sometimes like to put a face to the name people like to see that there's a real person behind what you're promoting so adding your an image of you or adding at least your personal information a way for people to contact you um, not just send you money is a great tip a great thing that you can do in this business um, add that information and let people contact you don't be scared they're people just like you um, they want to they want to talk to someone they want to ask Ask you about the business um, so that's tip number three tip number four is to get creative getting creative is, is important so you don't always want to be putting out the same stuff out there the way, whether it's offline online whether you're mailing a postcard or mailing a letter it's always good to change it up a bit especially if you're mailing the same leads over again the first time you want might want to mail the cover letter with um, with your order form second time you might want to mail a postcard or change up the cover letter just a little bit maybe write a little bit about your story and who you are but get creative get creative in your marketing um, if you're in impact mailing club there's also so a long list of things that you can do if you want to take um, do some other offline methods of marketing your business um, there's a long list I think I have a 51 um, ways that you could market your impact mailing club business or your um, uh, your any type of business that you're in at any rate uh, that's tip number four and tip number five kind of goes hand in hand with that and that's combining online with offline now some people might be thinking but I got in this just to mail and that's great you could keep mailing you don't need to do anything um, but if you're looking for that extra if you want something more you want to have true success with this why not add something else no one's saying that you can't um, market by mailing and also add a few YouTube 
YouTube videos. No one's saying that you can't post on, on Facebook as well. There are people online that are looking also for offline methods to market, and this might be the perfect thing for them. So if, if you've got people in your, in your crowd um, that are looking for this type of thing, why not introduce them to, to this? So get, you know, get online as well if you can, not just offline, if you're looking to really have success marketing your mail order business. Um, so that's the other tip. And um, so the final tip would be to consider leverage. Um, really think about leverage and really understand leverage in this business. For particularly an impact mailing club, we have a two tier system. Our system pays on two tiers. What that means is that not only are you getting paid for your signups, um, you're not just getting paid on leads, you're not just getting paid on signups. You, if you have somebody that joins and decides to resell this product as well, you are getting paid on their level as well. So when you understand that, the sky's the limit really. Um, this is a tip that I really want you to think about. So you want to be leading people that you let join into this business, join under you. You want to make sure that you're a good leader, um, not just for the money. Um, aside from that, I mean, there's also, you know, karma. <laughs> you want to be a good leader. You want to help people. It's a good thing to do. It just is. It's a good thing to help people in this business. But you can't forget by helping people in this business, you're also helping yourself. Um, sky's the limit if you've got some great people that have joined under you that are also reselling this product um, you're making money off of their efforts as well and this could be you know the money coming to you every month could be exponential it could be huge so think about that don't forget about that don't just sign somebody up and forget about them um, by helping them you're not only helping them you're not all, only being a great leader but you're also helping yourself so just a few tips if you have any questions just